Students are really the lifeblood of, of, of a laboratory like mine. Uh, so students, of course, take classes, but for their PhD or their master's thesis, they carry a, an original piece of research. Um, and you know, while we meet and discuss this, this issue, they're really in the trenches. They are the ones that make things happen. And so it's, it's very exciting to work with young people. At McCormick, really, we like to see students who have curiosity, drive, and creativity. And those are three qualities, really, that, that make uh, a student succeed uh, in his or her endeavors in terms of research. It's really a privilege to, to have the opportunity to, to work and collaborate with my colleagues. We also collaborate with people outside the university. In fact, we have quite a special relationship with Argonne National Lab, which is just an hour away, where we use their truly unique um, uh, X-ray facility for many of our research and also other colleagues uh, in the US or internationally. And it's really nice for the students because they also have the opportunity to go to Argonne, go to other universities, even go abroad, maybe uh, spend a few weeks or a few months in uh, the laboratory of a collaborator. I'm also working on a project with the Arts Institute of Chicago. Um, this is a, a multi-part project that is funded by the Mellon Foundation. Uh, my colleague and I are looking at different aspects. Um, of course, it's very broad. I mean, some of them are working, for instance, on jades uh, from China. Others are looking at uh, painting and the fading of paintings. And in my case, I've had the real the pleasure to work on what I like, which is metals. Uh, and so we're looking both at uh, Chinese bronze, very old, about 3,000 years old, and also more modern bronze sculptures uh, from the beginning of the 20th century from masters such as Picasso and Matisse. A few years ago, really, Dino Tino realized that uh, we had a lot of strength, uh, both at McCormick and within the university in the area of energy and sustainability, but that uh, many of those strengths were, um, were not yet really completely uh, integrated. And this initiative now has, has three main goals. Uh, the first one is to catalyze research. Um, we have a lot of those uh, existing centers of excellence, one on solar energy, for instance, another one maybe looking at fuel cells. Um, and what the initiative is doing is catalyzing collaboration uh, through joint research, for instance, or research with external collaborators such as Argonne National Lab. The second thing that the initiative does is create a set of courses, both graduate and undergraduate, um, that appeal to the whole university. So not just engineering science, but we're also looking at um, other aspects. The third um, aspect that we are focusing on is outreach. Outreach both within the university and uh, outside, uh, local uh, and national and international. The, the initiative really um, as a goal is trying to, to create, um, is, is facilitating really, um, new research um, at the level of, of uh, investigators. I hope very much that out of this, some of that blue sky research, in fact, might lead to, to new discoveries um, that, that will really make a difference in, in this quest for improvement in energy and sustainability.